Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we are talking about my new WDT tool from MHW Free Bob. After recent blind shaking revolutions, lots of you threw away your WDT tools, but I am one of those who prefer to stick with the needles. And even though the name of the company sounds ridiculous, I really really like MHW Free Bomb. The name of the company, I'm not sure if it's true, but I will tell you anyway. One of the viewers gave me the information so MHW apparently stands for make heart warm free refers to free founders of the company and bombers symbolize the aim to bomb the tradition and redefine the industry it sounds so silly that it actually can be true especially if you check the website lots of semi-poetic descriptions that actually make me gag I'm checking the website as we speak this tool is a part of the EU series if I pronounce it correctly cyclone subdivision and they say it's guided by heart and offers infinitive potentials as long as infinity is in 58 millimeters because that's the 58 millimeter tool but I have to say immediately since I opened the box and I have an unboxing video for you it feels solid it feels nicely designed and it works very very good with few things that I will mention during this video it feels heavy in hand over 300 grams made mostly of aluminium there are some silicon parts at the bottom you have magnets so that helps to secure the filter basket by the way they don't call them magnets no that would be too simple they call them built-in magnetic absorption design lots of those things you can find on the website you know for example this item it comes with professional quality inspection authoritative certification and you have certificates in Chinese obviously you can check signed by I'm sure someone very very important there are 14 needles at the bottom those are 0.25 millimeters needles and you also get six spare needles I'm not sure why six not 14 but at least you get some the way it works you position it on top of the porta filter filter basket and you press the top that causes the needles to go deep and it also causes the needles to rotate and then it's done the coffee is nicely distributed or as they say on the website the powder is efficiently dispersed and then you're ready to tamp and also what I like about this one after you finish as long as you don't set the depth too deep you just rest it on a table and and it's ready to use when you need it the workflow is very very nice not only that on top of being a very very efficient WDT tool it also uh, breaks convention and reshapes imagination and all of that for just 65 pounds that I paid one of the most important things about this design is to choose the correct depth each basket might be different so you probably would need to change the depth of this tool it's very easy they show it by the way on the website you have to undo that collar at the bottom once this is done you rotate the top bolt clockwise to increase the depth or anti-clockwise to reduce the depth and then you secure the rings by turning them clockwise again this is about the depth i would go to so it goes very deep but it does not scrape the bottom of the basket now what would happen if you go too deep on top of possibly risking breaking of those needles is that in the center of the stool you have that plastic bit in the middle without any needles so if it goes too deep that plastic dip would create the imprint in the coffee and then possibly that can affect the extraction simple way to know how deep to go is uh, well use the basket I'm using this one most of the baskets are magnetic so they will attach to the bottom you can see how deep or otherwise you should go and the last bit that you need to be aware here because it rotates and it rotates in a circular motion obviously if you move too fast it can leave the coffee bed uneven it can create almost like a vortex and that I guess would affect the extraction my recommendation is do it slowly three four turns you can tap the porta filter once or twice against your counter and most of the time most of the time it creates a nice and even coffee bed now the main question is this one any better than your regular WDT tool. So let's make a coffee. I will prepare two packs, one with this tool and one with my simple tools, and then I will share with you my final conclusions here. We will be using this medium roast coffee from India, that's the Supco coffee roasters. This coffee has been stored in a whiskey barrels. I will use trendy six bar profile on descent. Well, let's do it. We have two shots of espresso, they run in about the same time. Which extraction looks 
but uh, you will be able to tell me I think the regular WDT was slightly more even but I'm showing you exactly as it is I'm not expecting any differences in the taste so this is the coffee from MHW3 Bombay WDT2 Although I'm not the biggest fan of medium roast coffee, the texture, the body, everything is there. It would work really, really nicely with milk. You can get some raisins, you can get some chocolates, you get some sweetness, you get vanilla, you get almonds here. And the cup from the regular WDT. Cheers. I would not expect any regular home barista to be able to notice the difference in a taste between those two. So guys, if you are still here, definitely click like, consider subscribing to the channel, plenty more things coming. If you're regular to this channel and if it looks like I lost my mojo a little bit, it's because I injured my back badly at the gym, one of my discs popped yesterday. So I'm in a degree of pain, but I didn't want to dope myself before I finish recording this video. The answer to the question, is this WDT tool any good? The answer is yes. It's as good as it can be. Is it perfect though? No. You still can get uneven coffee bed. If you move too fast you will get what I call that vortex. If you don't choose the depth of the needles correctly, if you go too deep you can get that unevenness in the middle. If you don't go deep enough you probably won't distribute as evenly as you should. If the coffee is much more on one side than the other of the porta filter, this one might not distribute as evenly. But on average it's very very good. Is it better than the regular WDT tool? I think I can still get more evenly even distribution with this nothing really beats your hand because you can adjust the depth on the go so I like to start deep then I move superficially then I, I don't always do like this sometimes I move like this or so I see where I should move but it would take probably a minute versus few seconds with this one consistency probably still better with this one as well now, assuming that you still believe in WDT what is your favorite WDT tool I know few of you already got this this MH3 bomber something something let me know in the comments how do you like it plenty more things coming but for today thank you very much for watching my name is Jack this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon thank you bye <laughs>